in this hall sits heads of superior courts across the country who have converged on Abuja for the biennial conference of Nigerian judges. Those in attendance include Vice President Professor Yemio Shibaju, who is representing President Muhammadu Buhari. The administrator of the National Judicial Council leads the conversation here, which focuses on the promotion of judicial excellence in the administration of justice in the country. The scale of justice must be balanced as to, as to ensure, ensure that Nigeria fulfills its true potential as the African giant. I believe that the conference will contribute no small measure to promoting the role of judiciary as the side of our government while asking the judicial officers to rise to the challenge of restoring the public confidence by reducing the frequency of granting ex parte orders, the Chief Justice of Nigeria applauds the judiciary for saving the nation's democracy. He also calls for the independence of the judiciary. I yield to the fact that it may be difficult for the judiciary to be impartial and objective in a democracy where it remains financially tied to the executive. Majority of the heads of courts will go cap in hand to the governors to be begging for what is constitutionally due to them. The federal government on its part promises to ensure a financially independent judiciary which is also free of interference. The judiciary must be independent from all forms of interference and must maintain the highest levels of responsiveness, professional standards and integrity. We will continue to partner with you in ensuring that the judiciary is financially independent and effectively and sustainably retains a preeminent position in the quality of jurists manning our courts and the jurisprudence that develops from their collective premier reasoning. While well, the judges are hoping to uphold the tenets of the profession and their oath of allegiance and integrity, they'll be hoping that the challenges facing the judiciary, as stated by the Chief Justice of Nigeria, will be tackled by the federal government.